According to Hadith 2348, Sunani Tirmidhi, anyone who is Muslim and has sufficient income and is content by his income. What will happen when you really start loving Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? According to Hadith 2350, Sunan Tirmidhi, there are high chances that poverty will attack you. What will happen if you start loving the poor people and keep them near you? According to Hadith 2352 of Sunan Tirmidhi, on the day of resurrection, Allah will make you near on the day of resurrection. Who will enter the paradise first, the poor people or rich people? According to Hadith 2345, the poor people will enter 500 years before the rich people. Today we are going to study Sunan and Nisai. Read this Hadith. It was narrated that Maqil bin Yasser said, a man came to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, I have found a woman who is from a good family and of good status, but she does not bear children. Should I marry her? He told him not to. Then he came to him a second time and he told him not to marry her. Then he came to him a third time and he told him not to marry her. Then he said, marry the one who is fertile and loving. For I will boast of your great numbers. So this is a common thing today. That a man may send a marriage proposal. Let's take the example of your son again, okay? Ahmad. Your son Ahmad. So let's suppose Ahmad sends a marriage proposal to a lady, to a girl. Her name is Sara. Sara is doing some job. So Sara accepts the marriage proposal, but with the condition that she will not have any child or children. So Sara has accepted the proposal, but she has made this condition that she will not have any child because of her job or whatever the reason. Now the Ahmad, shall Ahmad marry her or shall Ahmad leave her? Ahmad leave her. Yes, according to this and this, Ahmad should leave her and marry someone else. What if the woman accepts the marriage proposal with the condition of not having any child. What if the woman accepts the marriage proposal with the condition of not having any child? And the answer we will write according to the Hadith 3229 of Sunan an Nisa'i, the man should not marry her. 
द मैन शुड नॉट मैरी हर रीट आर रीट द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर अगेन what if the woman accept the marriage proposal proposal with the condition of not having any child according to the hadith 3229 of sunna and nisa the man should the man should not marry her i think you better check the notes i think we have already read these are these last time check the on this number from sunna and nisa <clears throat> No, we completed last time until this one. Okay, read this or this. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Amr ibn al-As that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "This world is all temporary conveniences, and the best temporary convenience of the world is a righteous woman." Hmm. So the best thing any person can get in this life is a righteous woman. If anyone gets it, then this means he is a lucky person. What is the best thing that a man can get in this life what is the best thing that a man can get in this life according to on these 3234 a righteous woman a righteous woman read the question and answer what is the best the best thing a man can get in this life according to hadith sunan an nisa 3234 uh, a right a righteous woman now read this one It was narrated from Anas that they said, "O Messenger of Allah, why don't you marry a woman from the Ansar?" He said, "They are very jealous." Hmm. So because of this thing, so ligairatin shadida. Here it is translated as jealous thing, but it means a woman who does not accept. the other wife of her husband so basically they were strict women they were not allowing their husbands to marry anyone else that's why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not marry them but today all women are like this almost all maybe 99% muslim ladies are like this what about you Will you allow your husband to marry anyone? Yes. Yes, good. So Ansar women have this thing. That's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not marry any of them. Is who are you back? Some women they don't agree. Will they get like sins or what? So basically, she's uh, stopping her husband from a halal thing. Yeah. when anyone stops someone from mahalal thing surely they are doing something which is against the command of allah almighty mishur 
Okay, Ms. Umua, what you read? It was narrated that Abu Huraira said a man proposed marriage to a woman from among the Ansar. And the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, have you seen her? He said no. So he told him to look at her. So in Quran, it is clearly mentioned that a man cannot look at any other lady. But when he wants to marry a specific lady, he can look at that specific lady. A man. A man is not allowed to look at other ladies. We can just say men. Men are not allowed to look at other ladies. Can a man look at the lady whom he has decided to send a marriage proposal. Men are not allowed to look at other ladies. Can a man look at the lady whom he has decided to send the marriage proposal? According to Hadith three two three six of Sunan Nisai, yes he can. According to Hadith three two three six of Sunan Nisai, yes she can. Yes he can look at her. Repeat the question and the answer. Man is not allowed to look at an other ladies. Can a man look at the lady whom he has decided to send a marriage proposal? According to Hadith 3236 of Sunani and Nisa, yes, he can. Sunani and Nisa E. Sunani and Nisa E. Nisa is a different thing. It means woman. And Nisai is the name of a man. Oh, Sunani and Nisai. Yes. Ms. Hur, are you here? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Read this one. It was narrated that Al Mughira bin Shuba said, I per proposed marriage to a woman during the time of messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said have you seen her I, I said no he, sa he said look at her for that in, is more likely to create love between you and so seventh question is repeated in this hadith men are not allowed to look at other ladies but can a man look at the lady whom he has decided to send a marriage proposal yes he can look at her that specific lady he can look mr abdul razak abdul razak Ummu 
Muhammad. Urwa, Urwa that Aisha said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, married me in Shawwal, and my marriage was consummated in Shawwal. Aisha liked for her women's marriage to be consummated in Shawwal, and which of his wives was more beloved to him than me. So we can marry in any month, but the recommended month is Shawwal. Okay. No need to write any question for this one. So you can marry whenever you want, but the recommended month is the month of Shawwal. Abdul Razak, are you back? Miss Hoor. Amir bin Shura Bil Ash Asha B narrated that he uh, he heard Fatima bin Kayas, who was one of the first Muhajir women, say Abd, Abd, Abdul Rahman bin Auf proposed marriage to me along with others of the Companion of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam proposed that I marry his freed slave Osama bin Zaid. I was told that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said, "Whoever loves me, let him love Osama." When when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke to me, I said, "My affairs." are in your hand marry in marry me to who who whomever uh, you wish he said go to um um sharik um sharik was a rich and sari woman who used to spend a great deal in the case of allah cause of allah, cause of allah. And she always had a lot of guests. I said, I will do that. He said, do not do that for Umm Sharik has a lot of guests. And I would not like your Kimar to fall off uh, or your sh shines or uh, to become uncovered and the people see some time of you that you do not want them to see. Rather, um, go to your cousin, son of the uh, son of your paternal uncle Abdullah bin Umar, Amr bin Umay Maktam, who is a man of Banu Fihar. So I went to him. This is an abridged from form of it. So this is a um, related in which Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or she decided to marry Sama bin Zaid only because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved him. Rest is about the idda where should she spend her previous idda. No need to write any question from this. Um, Muhammad. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Um, please, um, I want to ask what is the actual time for the starting? Of the class because I don't know. I only join in the midway to the end of the class. I don't know what time actually. What is the starts. name of your country? I'm in Ghana. Ghana. Yes.
Eleven fifteen a.m. is the time of the class. Okay. Okay. Eleven. That is every day. Not every day. Days are mentioned in the group message that you have where the Zoom link is sent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just that one. Why you come? Now read this hadith, Abdul Razak. Okay. Um, prohibition of proposing marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. It was narrated from Ibn Umar that the Prophet wasallam said, none of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. So if you know that someone has sent a marriage proposal to a lady, you cannot send marriage proposal to her. Unless she makes the decision about that man. Can a man send marriage proposal to a lady who is already proposed by someone else. Can I mention marriage proposal to a lady who is already proposed by someone else. So now to this no he cannot unless she makes her decision about the first person order to the hadith three two four zero no he cannot unless she makes a decision about the first person. Ms. Ummi Ahmad. Yes. Read this one. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do not artificially inflate prices. A resident should not sell for a Bedouin. A man should not offer more for something that has already been bought by his brother. No one should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. And no woman should try to bring about the divorce of her sister in order to deprive her of the blessing that she has. Hmm. So first one, don't artificially inflate prices. It can have many examples. For example, I am selling something. I ask you to give a high bid on that actual price in order to increase the price. Stuff like this. Sometimes people inflate the prices in stock markets. So we cannot do artificial inflating of prices. This is not allowed in Islam. Second thing was a regarding trade. No need to write anything about that as well. Then, for example, you have bought an old car from someone for maybe 900 pounds. Now, other Muslim cannot offer that person 1000 pound for the same car. This thing is mentioned here. Next thing is already written in the question that a man can send marriage proposal to someone who has already been proposed unless he makes a decision about the first person. Then the next thing a woman should not ask her husband 
to divorce the other wife. So a woman should not ask her husband to divorce the other wife. No need to write any question. Miss Hoor is asking the answer for the fourth question. The answer is no. He cannot unless he no. makes the decision about no he can not until unless. until she makes until make the decision he makes Decision about the first person. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like Monaco and Cassia. Now read this and this. Okay. Uh, it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the messenger of Allah, that the messenger uh, that the prophet that the prophet sallallahu said none of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her. The question is repeated here. Ms. Muhammad next. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, none of you should propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already proposed to her unless he marries and gives up the idea or gives him permission. Same thing is repeated here. So that's all for today. If anybody has any question, they can ask me, then we'll stop. You see, number Salam, 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 salam,